of 20 distance integers chosen from the arithmetic regression 1, 4, 7, da, 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 and 100. And we were asked to prove that there are two integers in this set whose sum is 104. Let's take a look at this sequence. We know that it's an arithmetic progression, and it looks like this. So we can say at once that its first term, a sub 1, equals 1, and its difference equals 3. We can calculate this difference by subtracting 1 from 4, 4 from 7, 7 from 10, 10 from 13, and so on up to 97 from 100. We would still obtain the same number and it would be 3. <clears throat> we also know that any term of the arithmetic progression can be described by the following expression. a sub n equals a sub 1 plus d times n minus 1, where a sub 1 is the first term of the progression, d is the difference of the progression, and n is the total amount of terms in this progression. So, knowing the first term and the difference, we can work out the expression for the nth term of our progression. So, we go 1 plus 3 times n minus 1, or 1 plus 3n minus 3, which is 3n minus 2. So, any term of our progression can be found by substituting n into this expression. a sub n equals 3n minus 2. We can also find out the number of terms in this progression simply by setting a sub n to the value of 100. Of, so 100 is our last term. So we have 100 equal to 3n minus 2 and solve this equation for n. And thus we would obtain n, which would be the number of the last element, and consequently the uh, number of terms in the progression. So we go 3n equals 102, or n equals 34. So we know that the 100 goes onto the number 34. We can write it down as well. A okay, 34th is equal to 100. And we now know that n can be of the value of 1, 2, 3, and up to 34. So there are 34 numbers, 34 terms in this progression. Now we were given a condition that we have to take two numbers of this sequence, add them and obtain 104. So if we denote one of them as a sub n, which would be equal to 3n minus 2, and another one as a sub n, which would be equal to 3 times m minus 2, and we know that n and m can be equal to 1, 2, 3, da da da, up to 34, hmm. and add them. And we must obtain 104. Or if we substitute these expressions in here, we would have 3n minus 2 plus 3m minus 2 equals 104. 3n plus 3m equals 108. If we factor out 3, we would have 3 times n plus m equals 104 and n 
plus m equals 36. So this is our new condition. We have to prove that there are two numbers, two distant numbers in set A. Numbers number n and m. And their sum would be 104. And the sum of their indices would be equal to 36. Let's set n to the value of 1 and see what happens. According to this newly obtained condition, if we have n equal to 1, we must have m equal to 36 minus n or 36 minus 1, which is 35. So this term would be a first, the first term, which we know that is equal to 1. And this corresponds to a 35th, the term number 35, which actually do not exist in our uh, in our sequence. So we know that we can say that A1 is the number which won't give us 104 added to any other number of these of this sequence. So 1 is a failure. We can also say that another option to be a failure is to suppose n being equal to 18. Because in this case, m equals to 18 as well. And we'll obtain a 18th here and a 18th here. But we have to have two distant numbers, not one number. So this is the failure as well. Let's find out what is this number, what is this integer under 18th number. We'll substitute 18 in, the, in this expression. <clears throat> so we'll go 3 times 18 minus 2, which is 54, minus 2, which is 52. So, a 18th, which is equal to 52, is a failure as well. So again, these two numbers, which I said to be red, won't give us 104 added to any other number of this sequence. Now let's set n to 2. This means n would be equal to 34, and this corresponds to a second, which we have, and we know that it's equal to 4. And this one corresponds to a 34th, which we have, and we know that it's equal to 100. And if we add them, 4 plus 100, we would obviously obtain 104. Let me write down all the pairs which edit would give us 104. So these are 4 and 100, 7 and 97, 10 and 94, 13 and 91. We can check ourselves at any point simply by uh, adding the numbers we have and um, see if we have 104. So 13 plus 91 is 104, so we're fine. <clears throat> Moving on, 16, 88, 19, 85, 22, 
82, 25, 79, all the way up, Nine, uh, 28, 76, 31, 73, 34, 70, 37, 67, 40, um, 64, 43, 61, 46, 58, 49, 61, and this is our last pair. I'm sorry, the last pair goes 49 and 55. Right, and this is our last pair. So these are the 16 pairs of integers, which give hard to add 4 if added. Let me just write it here. So we have 16 pairs. Now let's use the pigeonhole principle. A it states that if we want to place n items into m pigeonholes and n is more than m, then at least one pigeonhole will contain more than one item. Let's consider the worst scenario. Let's say that the set A contains these two numbers, which we've already discussed. They won't give us 104 added to any other number of this progression. So we have these two numbers. Then let's pick one out of each pair so that we are sure that none of these 16 we've picked would give us 104 added to any other of these numbers we already have in this set. So 16, one of each pair. And we now have 18 numbers. But, we were told that the set A contains 20 numbers, which means that we have to add two more numbers in this set. And this time we are sure that these two numbers will be the other numbers of these pairs. So this means hmm, that we're going to have at least, in the worst scenario, exactly two pairs of numbers which will give us 104 if added, and we were asked to prove if there is a, 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 at least one. So, the problem solved.